Welcome back to Film Gob everyone, it's Shaker here. I hope you're having a great day and if you're not, you better get off your arse and do something about it. But, it's Comic Con this weekend. Yes, yeah, San Diego Comic Con 2019. Are you excited for it? Am I excited for it? Not really. I mean, there's some announcements here and there that I'm looking forward to, but overall, I'm more excited for what's going on around Comic Con. Mainly the Snyder Cut campaign, because let's take a look. This is what the fandom has come together and we've achieved this together. This is the ads that are appearing across uh, the area where Comic Con is taking place. Here's the bus stop ad, looking awesome. You've got quotes from uh, Zack Snyder and Jay Oliver, Jason Momoa, everyone's there giving people a little bit of info about what this Snyder Cut, Justice League Snyder Cut is all about getting people interested, attracting their attention. Here's a poster on the side of the bus stop, a nice handy code in the corner there. You can scan that with your phone, gives you more information. But this one here, the billboard, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. This is what we've been working towards. So everyone who contributed to the GoFundMe and all the donations, thank you very much. Could not have done it without you guys. And check this out, the color changes. It lights up during the evening. I love that. So the websites are picking up on it as well. We've got Cinema Blend here, we've got Screen Rant. And when Screen Rant posted this to their Twitter, guess who joined in? HBO Asia, whoever runs the HBO Asia Twitter account. They are hardcore Snyder Cut fans. They retweeted this with heavy breathing. They posted this, Henry Cavill turning up to SDCC demanding for the Snyder Cut. So it's not just HBO Asia, you know, no, not just one Warner Media related Twitter account that's tweeting about the Snyder Cut. Now we've got Warner Channel LA. So they tweeted this in Spanish and if you translate it, they're talking about Supernatural, Batwoman, but then they say the fans ask for the Snyder Cut and much more in San Diego Comic Con. And they had this little video package of Zack Snyder directing his movies and uh, with the text coming up, that the fans are demanding for the Snyder Cut. So this is actually quite interesting that another Warner Media related channel is tweeting about the Snyder Cut. It may not be, you know, the big Warner Brothers pictures. It may not be, you know, Warner Media official account, but it's something. They have 1.3 million followers. I'm interested to see how many retweets and likes they get on that specific tweet. We'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, Deborah Snyder herself thanked everyone who's been involved in the, the Snyder Cut campaign, the, you know, the donations and the ads. Uh, she thanked everyone on Vero. Here's Mick D on Twitter. Said, Debbie Snyder shared the chronology of our support for AFSP and Snyder family on her Vero timeline. Everyone who helped support our noble efforts from organization, big and small donations for simple tweets and likes. Thank you. Powerful art, heal, bring awareness, great change. Deborah Snyder on Vero, she said, we are so touched by how much these amazing people have raised for suicide awareness and prevention, awestruck and humbled. So Zack Snyder and DC fans raise over $106,000 for suicide awareness and prevention. The Justice Pledge, $800, March 2018. Justice League is released on home video. Fans start hashtag Justice Pledge on social media, pledging to donate the price of Justice League Blu-ray to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, raising $800. Five for five on July 2018, fans continue to use social media to raise awareness and funds for suicide prevention, scheduling worldwide campaign with five for five encouraging donations of $5 or more to AFSP raises $1,600. DC Film Fans Charity T-Shirts for AFSP. So this was started September 2018, coming together to celebrate fan art within the community and raise funds for suicide prevention. Fans designed T-Shirts on inktothepeople.com depicting messages of support, empowerment and hope. All T-Shirt profits donated to AFSP raising $2,311. Out of the Darkness, November 2018. Fans create teams and walk with the Snyder family in the AFSP's Greater Los Angeles Out of the Darkness Walk in Pasadena in memory of Autumn Snyder. Fans help to raise $2,400. Release the Snyder Cut banner flight, November 2018. 
fans set up GoFundMe to fly hashtag release the Snyder Cut banner over Warner Brothers Studios on the anniversary of Justice League's release while raising funds and awareness for suicide prevention, raising $891 for AFSP. All the gods are here. January 2019, proud of all the work done fundraising for suicide prevention, Zack Snyder joins fans in their Ink to the People campaigns with his All the Gods Justice League t-shirt design, raises $82,365. Project Comic Con, April 2019, fans set up GoFundMe to promote release the Snyder Cut at San Diego Comic Con with half of all funds raised at least $14,600 so far for AFSP. Release the Snyder Cut Comic Con t-shirt, May 2019. Fans set up a new t-shirt on inktothepeople.com for the Project Comic Con campaign. All profits go to AFSP raising $1,450. So thank you to everyone you know, who took part in all these campaigns, or even if you just you know, liked or retweeted or you know, made a video on YouTube, whatever you've done, if you want to know a little bit of background of what's been going on over the past year or two, there's a playlist here, it's going to pop up, you can check that out. But if you want to, you know, stay up to date with what's happening with, you know, the Snyder Cut team, you can follow people like Mick D, Will Rollins, right? they've been very influential in getting the word out there and setting up, you know, campaigns and things like that. And of course, RT Snyder Cut, there's a whole lot of other people as well, but if you follow at RT Snyder Cut, You'll find them, you'll meet them, you'll see them tweeting. So why don't you let me know in the comments below what you think about all this. Click that like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more updates on what's happening in the Snyder Cut movement. Why not check out these other videos in the meantime? But until next time, I'm Shaker, and I'll catch you later.